Hi there, I'm Adrian and today I'm going to be taking a brief look at how to play the main riff from Pictures of Matchstick Men by Status Quo. This is an amazing riff, really easy to play. Um, when I first heard this song I didn't in fact realise it was by Status Quo. I think like many people I associated Status Quo with 12 bar boogie and uh, dodgy ponytails but uh, this song is in fact from a very early incarnation of the band when they were more of a kind of 60s psychedelic band and it really is a fantastic song and lots of fun to play. Now I think an important part of this riff is the actual sound you get. Um, there's some kind of effect used on the guitar. It's um, either a phaser or a flanger, something like that. I'm not sure exactly what was used on the original recording, whether it was an effects pedal or whether it was more of a studio based effect. But uh, today I'm just using my old Boss flanger pedal, which seems to get me quite close to the, the original sound. But uh, any kind of modulation type pedal would work as well, I think. So if a phaser or, or a chorus pedal would, would do as well. Let's get to the actual riff itself. As I say, it couldn't be easier to play really. It's all played on the B string of the guitar and uh, we're starting up at the 15th fret on the B string. I'm just going to play that with my third finger. I'm going to play that note five times and then I'm going to play the 13th fret on the B string three times. That's the first bar of the riff. So the 15th fret down to the 13th fret. That's all played in even eighth notes. So one and two and three and four and. Then we go up to the 17th fret again on the B string. Five times playing that note. Then we go back to the 15th fret. Play that three more times. That's the second bar of the riff. So, so far we've got this. I'm playing all of this with down strokes. I think that sounds good for this riff if you just dig in and play quite hard with all down strokes. Um, so the riff continues like this. We've got um, a little run from the 13th fret to the 14th fret to the 15th fret on the B string. Um, and then we're just playing that 15th fret note again, I think um, six more times. So just that bar slowly. And then we just repeat that exactly the same another time. So it really is very, very easy to play. Let me just play the entire riff slowly for you once. Rhythm is all eighth notes, except when you've got that little 13, 14, 15th fret uh, run up where the rhythm is two 16th notes and an eighth note. So one E and two and three and four and one E and two and three and four and. So let me play the entire riff. I'll just put my flanger pedal on and play the entire thing up to speed. And there we have the main riff. Um, I'll just quickly take you through the chords that go underneath the riff as well. Again, they're very, very simple. Um, we've got two beats on D, two beats on F, two beats on C, and two beats on G. Those are the chords for the verse of the song. It's just those four chords played over and over. For the chords underneath the actual lead guitar riff that we just looked at, it's those four chords followed by an extra two bars on the D chord. And uh, I think you've got a couple of options when it comes to playing the, the chords. You could play them uh, down towards the, uh, the head of, of the guitar. You could play an open D, an F bar chord, open C, and then a G bar chord at the third fret. I think that sounds pretty good. Just two beats on each one, essentially two down strums on each chord. And 
could spice that up with a few upward strums as well if you want to. And then the other option when it comes to playing the chords is to play them a little bit higher up the neck using some different shapes and uh, in fact looking at um, some video footage of status quo playing it I think um, one of the guitarists Francis Rossi plays the chords higher up the neck and then the, the other guy um, Rick Parfit I think plays the guitar the, the chords um, down at this end of the neck which is it's quite a good trick when you're playing in a band that's got two guitar players to uh, to play different chord voicings because that uh, kind of thickens up the sound a little bit if, if two guitarists aren't playing exactly the same thing. So um, if you want to play the chords a bit higher up the neck you could play a D bar chord up at the 10th fret um, with the root on the the sixth string. F would be a bar chord at the 8th fret, root on the 5th uh, string. C is at the 8th fret again but with the root on the 6th string and then to a G um, which is a, an A form bar chord with, with the root on, on the uh, fifth string again. So um, if you're not sure of your bar chord shapes, uh, there is actually a lesson that I've done on bar chords. So you might want to want to check that out if you're not familiar with, with some of those chords. But uh, let me just play through the, the chords in that area of the neck. We've got D, F, C, G. And uh, one further thing you could try for maximum psychedelic effect, if you've got a wah-wah pedal, you could turn that on to play um, these calls, and that sounds really fantastic. Um, let me just flip on my wah-wah pedal and, and give that a try. We've got... Um there we go. So... Um, I think that's about it for this lesson. If you want to play the chords to the rest of the song, um, it's actually fairly straightforward. It's probably be quite a good exercise for you to listen to it and uh, try and work them out for yourself. But if I have time, I will try and put a full chord chart up on my website. Um, so that's it for this lesson. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope to see you for another lesson again very soon. Bye bye.